beauty queens welcome back to my channel happy new year and I hope that you guys had a really fun safe holiday season and I really hope that you're really looking forward to this next year of 2017 today's video is going to be a review on the Laura Geller baked liquid radiance foundation so I do have four foundations that I really do like and this one I kid you not has to be the best damn foundation that I have encountered in my whole entire little beauty career here. Currently it is a Saturday. It is 1.06 in the morning and my day is completely done. I'm going to go ahead and tell you how I feel about the actual foundation. The blendability of this foundation is absolutely amazing. The way it glided onto the skin, so easy and creamy. I guess this is like a new and improved uh, foundation because there is color correcting pigments in there and I love the way that they make this foundation It is a powder based originally they take it to Italy It's baked on terracotta tiles infused with almond oil. So it's really lightweight It's radiant and very creamy at one point of the day. I did take a three hour nap Yeah, I was like sleeping beauty like sleeping as if I'm in my like funeral tomb just like there's nothing bad to say about this foundation. It stayed all day long. It is a 12 hour lasting foundation and it's kind of one of those things where like the longer you wear it, the better it gets is what I like to perceive this foundation as because literally it didn't crease into the normal creasage this Laura Geller beats all of my foundations out of the water and I truly believe that it is medium to full coverage definitely on the full coverage side the concealer is very full coverage if you are not a full type of coverage type of gel then I don't think you would like these products to be honest with you but you can get away with just buying these two and it'll literally last you forever. The foundation, I just checked right now, it is $32. This foundation is infused with skin loving ingredients as well. And I have sensitive skin, so I really need to take that into consideration. If you do have any discoloration in your face at all, whether it be like sunspots or birthmarks, maybe like some strawberry patches, even if you are oily, since this is a baked liquid foundation you can definitely try it because a lot of times when you introduce oil into your skin when you're already highly oilized that was not even a word oilized yeah <laughs> yeah give this a go because i truly feel that it'll really absorb into the skin keep your oily skin under control and if you're really dry it really does just moisturize and give you like a really supple flawless radiant appearance and i'm all for luminosity i love a luminous radiant glow to the skin because that right there is showing that you have healthy skin i live breathe love for healthy skin i feel like the complexion of your face is the best and most important part about your makeup anyways thank you so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video I have nothing on my face right now and we're about to change that. I am first going to go in with Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Firming Serum. I like to typically use this only whenever like, I wash my face. Today I am feeling like my face needs a little bit of moisturization. So I'm just applying a thin layer of this onto my face and this is a serum. It is really liquidy, it does have a watery consistency to it. So therefore it will seep into your skin really quickly and you don't even have to wait for it to dry only because it does seep into your pores um, which is going to prevent breakouts. The next step is going in with Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Beauty Oil. This one I like to use because it does provide you with a lot of hydration. I really like serums and beauty oils because I'm not too fond of moisturizers. I feel like they're very heavy on the skin, uh, but this oil right here 
does have components in there that's really just going to moisturize. I just basically use to lock in the serum. It makes a great moisturizer. I love it. It does give you a luminous, radiant glow to the skin, and I really love that. So now that we have our serum and our oil on, I'm gonna go in with my primer. This is Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover RX. It is a replenishing facial primer, and I really love this stuff because it is infused with antioxidant ingredients, which is really great for the face. I use two pumps. You can typically get away with one. Definitely use one pump because two pumps is just way too much. I do bring it into my neck and as you can see my face is very much lighter than the rest of my body and that's only because I do exfoliate my face quite often. So excited about this foundation and this concealer. So this is the Laura Geller's Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation. As for the concealer goes, same technique, same quality. Uh, it's called the Real Deal Concealer and it's serious coverage. The first time I swiped it at Ulta, that's where I got these products, I was amazed. I like put it on my hand and it covered my whole entire hand and I was like, oh my god, that was not my intention and I was kind of scared of it to be honest because it was full coverage. So if you are someone who doesn't like full coverage, then this foundation is really not going to be for you. You're not going to like it. You're going to think it's too cakey, too much coverage, very heavy on the face. If you are like me and you have normal to dry skin, I really feel like you would like it because the ingredients in here are really nourishing. It won't latch on to any dry patches or anything like that. It covers all of your redness. This is serious coverage. Let's just go ahead and pop this on. When you are working with foundation, you wanna make sure that your hands are really clean. Now, mind you, I did already do my brows. I did my eye makeup. My lashes are on. I just don't have my foundation, my highlighter, contour, or blush, obviously. I'm really excited to do this review on the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation and the concealer. So let's just go ahead and try it out. There's two ways that you can really apply your foundation and that is of course going in with a beauty blender or you can go in with a duo fiber brush. It's really easy to blend out with a flat top duo fiber brush and this is from Morphe. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now once the foundation's actually on the face, I do go in with the damp beauty blender and I go ahead and I just make sure that all of the foundation is nice and blended out. My favorite part of makeup is the skin complexion, how smooth it is, how amazingly flawlessly we can get the complexion. Complexion is the main game in the makeup industry. I mean, if you don't have nice skin, your makeup is not going to apply nicely as it would if you took care of your skin. I really like that it has the terracotta cap, you know, due to the way that they make the actual product. I have a piercing on my nose. I'm just gonna take that out and actually announce it. So here I am announcing I got my nose pierced. It's healed really nicely. I can really put my nose rings in and out as I please. Uh, so with my nose ring, I like to take it out because I don't want the foundation and much less the powder, blush, foundation, any of the products to get onto my actual nose ring because then it gets all dull and nasty and gross when the purpose of a nose ring is to have a little bling bling, a little sparkle going on. I'm just gonna start on my forehead. Bring it down the nose. And then take it to the cheeks. Already, it just covers up any redness. Any redness that I have, it instantly goes away. As you can see, this is one coat. And I am going in circular motions, which they totally recommend. I also like to pat it into my face. So that right there is one coat coat. When you are applying your foundation, you want to make sure that you're really blending it out, especially into the jawline and the neck. I also like to hit the little creases on my nose on both sides. Just really go like back and forth into the crease. 
You're more than welcome to open your mouth and blend the product into the creases as well. I mean, for me, I smile a lot. I'm very vibrant. I'm really animated when I talk, so I really do have a tendency to crease in those areas. This is a really, really great review of the foundation. Now, let me bring you a little closer. Now, is that not the prettiest complexion that you've seen? This foundation is seriously so top-notch. You definitely need to use a primer, otherwise it will latch on to your dry patches. Now I'm gonna go in with one more coat. Two coats is absolutely perfect. Now this is a full coverage foundation, absolutely. It can be a medium to full coverage, but I would definitely list this as a full coverage foundation. In case you are interested and you do have the same undertone as me, like the same colored skin, I did get the color sand. It really gives you such a photoshopped look, literally because the coloring correcting pigments in there, I do believe, if I do say so myself. The skin is left so luminous especially if you just continuously blending it out in a circular motion, getting in and up into those creases. Especially the under eye. For me, I do struggle with creasing underneath the under eye, and that's why I bake a lot underneath the eye. That is it for the foundation. I obviously really, really love it. Again, it is a full coverage and it is very radiant and luminous. So I'm just gonna make sure that I got all of the foundation from the second pump. And I really like to put it on the back side of my cheek area because that's where we do our contour blush and highlight. So I really like this area to be really nice and smooth and very flawless. Like the complexion has to be flawless. Once I've done my two coats of foundation, obviously you could do one to each their own. Um, doing two is perfectly okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. This one is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to buff the rest of the foundation that maybe didn't get hit with the brush and really pounce that product into your skin. Again, my favorite part about makeup is the skin. If you have like really bad skin and like bomb eye makeup, our foundation is complete. Let's go in and proceed with the concealer. This is what it looks like. You are to use this sparingly and apply by brush or with your fingertips and just make sure that you are blending it in lightly. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. I did get this at TJ Maxx. It is by a beauty company named Polished. Literally going to take a little bit of a dab like seriously the less the better because this stuff is kind of scary to work with so here we go I like to bring up my concealer up to the top underneath the eye onto the side of the nose Definitely use a brush with these products. I mean you're more than welcome to use your fingers but I just feel like a brush works so much better with the consistency of the product. But a beauty blender is a game changer with the concealer. So I will go in with a brush initially with the concealer and then I'll go in and buff it all out with a beauty blender. So let's go ahead and do that right now. With bringing the concealer up top, you can use the extra highlight to just kind of shape the arch of your brow. Really look at the difference between a concealed under eye and, and then compared to an under eye that is not concealed. Again, going in with that polished brush. Back to the concealer. 
the Real Deal Concealer by Laura Geller. This is in the color medium. Ay, 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 it's so thick. I love it. I like to bring it up to the cheekbone. Really get that cheekbone nice, bright, and highlighted. That way it looks really nice whenever we go in with the contour blush and highlight. Wherever you put it, it will follow. So go ahead and put it on the bridge of your nose. It dries really quickly, so I find that you really have to work fast with it. Once you feel that you have the concealer where you want it, you definitely do wanna go in with a damp beauty blender to make sure that everything is nice and blended out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Kat Von D um, this is a translucent powder. It's the Lock It Setting Translucent Powder. Since both the foundation and the concealer are baked, you don't necessarily have to bake your face simply because since it was powder and they baked it, it turned into a uh, liquid form. It still has that pigment in there. So you can totally stop right there. You don't even have to put powder on, but I am going to. Now, one thing that I will definitely be doing is taking that powder and definitely work really safely with this one. Safely. <laughs> Try to work really gently with this product because it is quite messy. Just do this in a triangular motion. We like pat it underneath the eye so that we don't get any wrinkles down there, any creasing. I'm just going to let that bake, say, five minutes. Ding! Time's up. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe that right away. There you go. This is going to leave you with such a beautiful, flawless look to the face. I wouldn't say radiant because the translucent powder is matte. But the rest of your face will look very luminized simply just because we did put the powder there just to set the product underneath the eye. And I guarantee you no creasing throughout the day. Like even if I put um, mascara and eyeshadow underneath like my lower lash line, it works phenomenally. I don't have anything bad to say about this product except for to use it really, really carefully. So this is the finished look. You can definitely add some powder in there. I like to use Milani's powder foundation. So you can definitely add that to your Laura Geller foundation and concealer. That is how your complexion's going to be looking once you get your Locket translucent powder, get some baking on there. Definitely blend everything out, like even though there's powder on the face, and even though the complexion does look still really, really nice, the more that you blend, the better your skin is going to look. Blending is key. Oh, I would recommend this foundation to anyone who loves a full coverage foundation. So this is what my makeup looks like at the very end of the day. No touches, no nothing. I put on this makeup at three o'clock. I've had a really, really long day and I did take a nap today, so it is 1.15 in the morning. The Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation is amazing. It's really lightweight, it's radiant and very creamy, so you can really blend it out super nicely. This will take away any unevenness of the skin. It just, seriously, you need to try this, you guys. I've been wearing my makeup now for eight hours. You don't even have to set your face because it is in a baked formulation. It's so awesome. I love the details behind the foundation. I love the ingredients. All around, I approve. This is like the foundation that I'm going to wear on my wedding day. That's how much I love it. The foundation also does not latch on to your dry patches, nor does it oxidize. I love the fact that this is baked with not only skin-loving ingredients, but color-correcting pigments as well. Since it is baked on the terracotta tiles, it does create spheres of shades. You're not going to have trouble finding an undertone for the foundation that is going to work for you because there truly is such a match for everyone. That is my review. I really love the foundation. I absolutely love the concealer. I recommend both of them, especially if you are like a full coverage kind of gal like I am. As much as I love this finish, I need to go wash my face. And I'm like, oh, 
wanting to get out of these lashes. That is all that I have to say for the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation. Go ahead and give it a shot, and if you do end up purchasing the product, let me know if you end up loving it just as much as I did, because Oh my gosh, Corey actually picked it out for me, my boyfriend. We were at Ulta, and I was like, I really want to try the Giorgio Armani Foundation. Well, guess what? Giorgio Armani Foundation is not sold at Sephora, nor is it sold at Ulta. So we have to go get it at Macy's or some type of like department store, which is like really annoying, but that's okay. That is it for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.